Now, in recent years, mental health professionals have learned a lot about the traumatic impacts of war on troops. Civilians in the war zone can also be impacted by the trauma. But as new specialist Jed Bull shows us in this Healthy Mind Matters report, the war in Ukraine can also have traumatic psychological impacts on all of us, watching from thousands of miles away. Jed? Exactly, Ashley. The war in Ukraine has been called the first social media war. It's the first war that's generating violent viral videos that we can watch right in the palm of our hand. And too much of that is not good. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has captured worldwide attention, especially on social media. Dr. Steve Sugden is a psychiatrist with Huntsman Mental Health Institute. He's also a colonel in the U.S. Army Reserves. He tells me the ongoing stream of violent content on multiple platforms draws us in to the reality of battle. But this is the first time that, you know, you've had individuals in a combat zone video courting, you know, on their, on their phones and then uploading that on various social media links so people can actually be in the real combat zone. For those with a healthy social network who can talk about their experience, it may only lead to a sleepless night. But it's not going to affect us to the same degree as individuals who, for example, have a history of trauma, and this is then becomes an aggravating event to that. Doom scrolling the war can traumatically impact those without a social network or people with close ties to the conflict. When is it too much? The most common one is having difficulty sleeping. They might feel that they're more edgy. Um, they might feel that they're more um, irritable. Know when to disconnect from social media for a healthy break. Then if we don't have a, a healthy outlet to be able to discuss those emotions, you know, then we, that's where it starts really progressing forward. Those with a history of trauma and combat veterans may be more vulnerable. If you have a family member that who's in the military, that individual also may be at greater risk. If you take breaks and it's still affecting sleep or your relationships. If that still continues on and continues on, I think that that would definitely be one of the reasons um, why would one would get professional help. People with a history of psychological trauma may experience an acceleration of thoughts of suicide or despair. And that would also be a reason of why somebody would want to get professional help immediately. Dr. Sugden tells me that there were some similar responses after the attacks of 9-11 by people who were watching those attacks repeatedly on television. But he says the ability to watch these videos now right on our phones has taken the issue to a more serious level.